Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my workshop. Today I'm going to be starting on a brand new project. Actually, more accurately, I'm starting on two new projects which I'm going to work on concurrently for economy of effort. They're both HO scale layouts. One is 16 feet by 12 or thereabouts and it is bench work and bus wires only. The other one is a small addition to an existing layout. It's somewhere in the region of 6 feet by 8 and it is bench work track and wiring. I just spent over a thousand dollars at Home Depot this morning. I didn't unload the truck straight away because it was raining when I got back. But everything's dried off now, so I'm about ready to get busy. So don't go away, stay tuned, and I will check in with you periodically during the construction. Well, I've been out here about an hour this morning, and I have chopped up three sheets of plywood to give me most of the parts I need for the bench work frames. There's still going to be a lot more cutting. I've still got to make all the holes for the bus wires in these short cross members. And I haven't started cutting legs yet, mainly because I don't know how tall the legs have to be. But that's what three sheets of plywood looks when it's cut up into four inch wide strips. I have a few. Now because I have several hundred holes to drill for the bus wires, I don't want to mark out each one individually. So what I'm doing now, I'm just finding the center of all these pieces of wood. I've lined them up. I'd mark the centre on the one and just draw a line. And then I get the next pile of wood of the same length. Get them all in alignment. So it's really quick to mark them all. And now let's head over to the drill press and show you what I've done over there. I've got myself a table out of plywood. The piece on the bottom is just to screw through the holes in the metal table. And then I've got a fence along the back. Now the fence is half the, the height of my bench work from the centre of the drill hole. And all these numbers are marked from the centre line. One inch, two inch, three inch, up to six inches. <coughs> now to use this jig, I start by putting my piece of wood with the center line against this mark and I drill my hole. Now I'm drilling half of it from each side because it gives a neater hole. It also saves the table so it's going to last a lot longer. And now in all these planks I want five holes at three inch spacing. So I continue by putting my plank where I can see the six inch mark in the middle of the hole. Then move it to the three inch. And now to the minus three. And now to the minus six. And now I just have to finish them off from the back. And there we are, five perfectly even holes with no additional measuring. Now it is only for bus wires, which are not going to be seen because they're under the bench work. But when I show up at the customer's site, I want my work to look neat. Neatness always counts when you're working for somebody else. Well, I've now drilled all the holes in all the cross pieces. It's about uh, 50 cross pieces in all, so 250 holes or thereabouts. And I've just started doing the side members where they intersect other pieces of framework. The method there is slightly different. I just take the relevant cross member that I've already drilled and use it as a pattern. And then I just drill those five holes out. That will be the first three cross members done, which will be enough to finish one end of the layout. And then I'll work out the others as I get to them. All nine sections of the benchwork are now framed up. I still don't have a number for the height 
so I can't make the legs yet, which means I can't start assembling. So that is at a no-go any further situation. Rather than waste the day, I decided to start working on the other project. So with that in mind, I've just had another session on the table saw. Ripped up all the various widths that I need for this one. And I'm about to start assembling those two sections. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Well, this is how far I've got on the other project. This one is just a small addition to an existing railroad. This section holds a three track return loop and a Y, just for turning his trains. They wanted me to use their version of legs here, the L shaped legs. So they gave me some old ones. I had to modify them to fit because they were too long. And I've added bracing so they're actually a lot more rigid now. And of course, since this section is too wide to go in the van, it's got to be split down the middle. It's two 33 inch wide sections. So I have these bearers between the legs to hold up the middle. And that makes it structurally sound. The pair of legs at this end, they probably won't need when it's installed because this will just hang on the existing layout. Anyway, the specifications for this bench work is for a six inch side rail with the half inch plywood and one inch foam inset. So that is why I have that lip around the edge. The two side rails are permanently attached, but the end one is just screwed from the inside. So that will be taken off for transit. Anyway, the next stage on this project is to put the bus wires in and I don't yet know what color wires he wants me to use so just like the other railroad I am down to waiting for information I don't think I can sensibly continue on either project until I've heard back so I'll sign off for today I'll check in with you again tomorrow